He had a dream from when he was six and he achieved it. Yeah, he never gave up. Had a few setbacks and just kept going. Um, a few times we said, are you sure you want to do this? He was like, this is what I want to do, Mum. I'm, I'm going to get there. First time my dad asked me to go, if I wanted to go to free tryouts when I was six. And ever since then, really, it's, I just always wanted, wanted to play footy. Uh, I was the youngest of five. I had four older sisters and so I was always just by myself kicking the footy around. And he would uh, play imaginary footy games with the trees in the backyard. He had a great imagination and he was a great listener. He'd always go to training and he used to say, Mum, they're not listening, they're not listening. And you'd look over and he'd be looking at the coach, like trying to get as much as he could and then come home and practice it. When I found out, I, I think we had a captain's run coming up and I was just at home doing uni and hanging around and then got a message from Brad at about 12 o'clock or so and it just said, come see me when you get here, please. So yeah, then the next two hours felt like a few days for me before I, to, I got to training. Dropped my bag and went straight into Brad's office. And then, yeah, he just had a little chat to me. And then I went to walk out and he called me back in and asked if I wanted to, to build against my old club. And then, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty special sentence to hear, really. <laughs> pretty surreal, especially because only finding out a couple of days before the game. Uh, I didn't have much time to process anything, really. It's just what I had to go and train and then we were pretty much there and I was into it. When I first took the call, I Yeah, we were just like, I, so over the moon. Um, driving to the game, yeah, I just had butterflies the whole, the whole day. Couldn't really sleep much the night before. Um, I finally got there and then so nervous right before we ran out and then running out to Combank. Um, there's a pretty good crowd there through the, the streamers and stuff. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool for the first time. Got me revved up a bit. I had only been on the field for like five or 10 minutes at that point and I already noticed how tired I was. <laughs> like, Will found himself in a bit of space and poking his nose through and then there was no one really around me. So I was like, oh, I might be a chance here. I just had 20 meters or so to run and I was like, far out. <laughs> I might actually get there. And then I got there and then um, I think the emotion sort of took over after that. A bit of a blur. Beautiful ball, Penasini. Back to Jordan, back to on. Hit the hands. What a play. Brendan Hands for the Eels. Well, since I've been at the club, it's, it has it felt, felt like home. Ever since I came in and met Brad, he was always really good to me and um, welcoming, but he was also, um, he made sure you you were in point. And yeah, the fans have always been pretty good, even when I wasn't playing. A lot of them still got around me, and then since I have been playing, um, it's been nothing but positive feedback. So just, just doing my best to have consistent performances each week, um, which has been a challenge, and just the rigors of playing against um, the best of the best each week has been really, really good. And um, yeah, I'm glad that I've been given the opportunity by the club. What a moment. Making an NRL debut at 24 years of age. Brendan Hands.